Hey guys, Reza here from Budget Audio Reviews. Today, I'm bringing you a quick look, quick impression of this beautiful piece of earphone, the QOA Vesper. Um, I am totally blown away by the quality of the Vesper. I ordered the green one, but the seller on Shopee said that, hey, look, I'm sorry, I don't have the green one. Could I send you the purple one instead? So I, I really didn't know uh, what to expect. I did look... Uh, you know, for it online but when it came in person i was really impressed with uh you know the overall quality i paid this about singapore dollars 72 dollars that's about what us 58 dollars or so um and you know as a package i'm pretty impressed with the overall quality of the qoa vespa so nice neat box packaging right one dynamic driver one novels ba driver so that's good really really cool um, it comes with two sets of ear tips all right uh, these are black ones i think this could be bass ones and this could be vocal ones maybe so i tried using this ones and yeah i think the the bore is slightly wider than the black one so i think this should be more for for vocals um, so far i'm liking the sound i really really enjoy uh, what uh, QOA has done. I think they are a sister company of uh, what's that, Kinera, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, so um, again, uh, really, really impressed with the quality of the IEM. It feels like it's custom made. The fit is great. Nozzle is short, but insertion is quite all right. So once this fits in my ear, it goes right in and it stays there. Um, the design of this uh, ear tip is also pretty good it's got this nice good girth on the side all right so it fits around the ears really really well next thing i want to talk about uh the cables man uh i'm so impressed with the cables um as compared to maybe the Weezer he01 i feel that if, uh at a you know three quarters of the price of the he01 the QA Vespa brings much better quality overall. Yes, the HE01, you know what they did? They spent too much money on the box and the packaging. This is similar to the HE01. Nice thick jack here. All right, solid feeling. Okay, similar termination here with the added uh, tubing around it. All right, but I tell you, these cables, you know, they look really, really good. Take a look. And they're very supple too. You know, it's not supple to the point where it feels thin like it's going to break, but it feels thick yet supple. It's uh, it's pretty incredible, amazing. It's really comfortable to wear. You know, zero microphonics. You know, it's really amazing. I'm so, so uh, you know, in awe about how much, uh, you know, good work and detail they can put into their uh, product here, see? So if I bring up the earphones itself against my hand, the camera there we go you can see the word vespa here this looks almost like chinese uh, or japanese porcelain work except it's uh, you know purplish pink in color so the details are pretty incredible just from a visual perspective yeah so uh, tuning wise i can't really say much about tuning um, it does sound a lot like a more refined tanjim tanya okay it sounds a lot like a more refined Tanjim Tanya and the Tanjim Tanya is Harmon curve tuned okay so maybe if someone who can read graphs could you tell me on the comments below does this graph look like the Harmon graph I know the Harmon graph has has a slightly boosted mid base here all right but somehow this this sounds like it's got a boosted mid base all right so if I could just stretch that but I can't since this is <laughs> you know boop you know maybe there is here right vocals are not that recessed they're still quite good and in the middle of the mix fantastic um, i've been warned that the treble rolls off very quickly after 10 kilohertz it's like a steep cliff but i don't hear the trebles being rolled off too early it's actually good pretty good treble extension what sort of tracks i've been listening to i've been listening to a lot to the fast and furious 9 uh, soundtrack here all right, um, you know, I've been listening a lot to uh, Dream Theater, The Astonishing, um, you know, and Paul Gilbert's, uh, what's this, Werewolves of Portland. 
So like drum, snares and cymbals and all that, they still have good extension and the ones that I really test out for drums is, uh, I think I overshot, uh, nope, where is it? It's here, yeah. Dave Brubeck's quartet at uh, Carnegie Hall, this is the one, yep. There we go, camera, could you get that? Yes. So I, I, I use the second track, which is Bossa Nova USA Live, and um, yeah, the QOA Vespa did not disappoint with the drum hits, the opening drum hits. You can take a listen to that track later on your own and you can imagine the sound. And um, even the sound stage is fantastic, the imaging, so I could pick out exactly where the drums are in the studio space or the hall space. Um, you know, nothing too harsh on the trebles, uh, not sibilant, there's no upper mid glass, I tried with Dynacrawl, uh, Natalie Merchant, you know, and all the, and those two female vocals that I listen to often to check for that upper mid glare, especially Natalie Merchant, none of that, it sounds really, really good, um, you know, so I, if I could make a comparison, this is 72 Singapore dollars, um, this is about 20 plus, 22 Singapore dollars or so, um, the, Vespa is a much more refined Tanjim Tanya, okay? Um, so I get more resolution in terms of instrument quality. Timbre is very, very natural. Uh, I do not hear that the bass is overly boosted, neither is there a haze over from the upper bass to lower mids, you know? It's okay, it's all good. It's very consistent, very coherent kind of sound. Um, so it's one of those that I, when I take a listen to and I say, wow, this is... This is good, you know, it's not wow, it's like loud wow, it's wow, come, that's that's a good kind of wow. Um, I did feel that uh, it, on upon first listen, that this guy could be very, again, uh, not source dependent, but rather power dependent. It could perform better with more power driven behind it. All right, so what I did was uh, I just used a top of typical uh, dongle deck, you know, the latest one that's been going around, which is the CX Pro. Uh, after that, I switched to the Loconex CE, uh, you know, 0275. Uh, that one has a bit more power, a bit more juice. So I could hear the sound scaling better and better. And then finally, I plugged it to the iFi hip deck and boom. And the sound stage goes like that. And then the imaging starts to get even more precise. Uh, treble extension gets better. Bass hits lower. So, um, you know, I think this is one of those uh, rare gems that I think has gone under the radar just because it didn't get enough hype, you know? So um, the hype train totally missed on the Vespa. Maybe it looked weird. Maybe upon first listen, people somebody really, really didn't like it and, and slammed it, you know? Uh, but I, I personally like the Vespa. I think it is well made, number one. Very comfortable. The shell has no sharp edges whatsoever. My ears do not touch the edges of the plugs. Uh, once the nozzle is in my ears, this thing stays firm and fit, it stays flush, they are light, not heavy. Um, look at the cable here, it does have this preformed curve, alright, but you see there's no, they don't have that ad added layer of tubing here that's going to be touching your ear, right? Neither is this preformed curve too stiff that it can't form behind your ears. Again, the tiny details, right? Tiny details, just tiny, tiny details that they, they looked into it carefully. Even the choke here, yep, it's not sharp. I know some of these chokes is made out of metal and they kind of graze again your clothing and, 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 and body maybe. It's nice plastic one, simple, but it works, okay? So, yeah, man. So the QA Vesper has uh, wowed me in a good way. The empty one was like, the TRN empty one was like a boom, wow, Big sound, sharp, boom, deep bass, and all that kind of stuff. But this is more like a mature kind of, you know, like me and uncle, old man, kind of a wow, okay. So that's pretty much it um, for first impressions of the uh, QOA Vespa. I would like to spend more time with this, at least 15, 20 hours before I give a, a, a review video. But I'm just too excited. I just got this uh, yesterday and I, and, I, and I had about maybe two hours, three hours of it. And... It's, uh, it's pretty amazing. Alright guys, so thanks so much for watching. Do hit that like, share and subscribe to the channel uh, for more videos like this. I've been catching up uh, with videos because I'm busy back to work in the gym. Super long hours and it's pretty intense. Alright, so thanks so much guys. We'll see you real soon. Take care. Stay safe.